Ladies, y'all voted on what you wanted to see next from this channel. And you have spoken. All seven of you. That's right. Seven people decided the course and the destiny of this channel, or at least this next video. So in the future, if you have any preference on what you want to see from me next, you should keep an eye out for those polls. I need for everyone to wobble to the poll. Y'all totally skimmed over hearing my story of being raised in IBLP, and that's kind of a hot topic right now, but I guess everybody's over it. That's okay. That's fine. But you know what? Speaking of being raised in IBLP, I have a lot of modesty hacks on how to cover up or make clothes that aren't as modest modest. We do have the internet, and the internet has loads of boutiques for you to pick from that are more modest. Now keep in mind I'm 30, okay? So back in my day when I was a teenager, you just basically had Walmart, whatever store was near around you, the thrift stores, and you kinda had to make those clothes work. Y2K style? Yeah, not not the best. The tiny little crop tops and those low, low waisted pants. I've developed a couple tricks to making a garment a little more modest. So the first one, a tip that was from my other modesty video on things you are doing to dress modestly but are actually making you look a little frumpy. How many of you guys have done this? I, I know this tip because I do it so much myself. Taking a cami under a low top and bringing the neckline up that way. And using multiple different colors was kind of trendy, I think, back early 2000s, even mainstream, but I think it is a bad idea, and let me tell you why. The reason why clothes are cut in Vs sometimes isn't just because for the sake of immodesty. It actually is a flattering cut, it elongates a neck, and it can actually make you look more slim versus a really high neck. And when you're adding a different color triangle, to the middle of your upper chest. It just looks PC, distracting, not like it was originally intended, and less flattering. My suggestion is either try to match that top or dress as closely as possible with the same fabric, or you can do what I do, and that is I get a cami the color of my own skin. What this does keeps that elongation going. It keeps the original intent of the design without it being compromised with adding a new color to the color scheme. Just letting you know, I will link everything that can be purchased on Amazon down below in the description. And because I'm an Amazon affiliate, I earn from all qualifying purchases when my links are used. See how it just like gives that nice V and it looks more expensive, but also nothing is showing. I have two tops, one for spring, right after the winter, and one for the summertime. And that is because in the spring when I'm more pale, I have more of a yellowy green undertone because I'm olive skin tone. I'm kind of neutral in the middle, olive. So when I tan, I get a more goldeny color. I get warmer. And I prefer tube tops over just buying a whole camisole because I live in Texas and y'all, it is so hot here. Less is more. So that is my suggestion. Get a tube top. You can get a camisole. There are some with straps um, with wide straps and I will link that down below. Go with whatever color is closest to your skin tone. Now on the topic of tube tops, that brings me to my next hack, which is the strappy dresses. Sometimes you have like a strappy dress and you wanna add something underneath it so you can have more coverage. Maybe you're going to a church event or you're just going to be in a situation where you're more active, you want to be a little more covered, make sure that there's not any little slip ups for things to show. That is when you will layer a blouse. What I suggest instead of using a full length top, go with a crop top. And right now this is the ideal time because crop tops are in. Not only is this fantastic if you're like me and petite, they fit you like a normal top. The creation of a higher neckline and a sleeve without the extra heat to be packed in by that extra fabric that would have otherwise been tucked in to your dress or your skirt. Other great thing about this too is you avoid getting that, you know what I'm talking about, that dreaded shirt roll when you have a top that you're stuffing into something else and it just kind of bunches up over time. That is what crop tops are excellent for. Make sure while they're still in style to pick yourself up some extra crop tops. And you can see this one here that I've picked up from Amazon. This is a very cute peasant style. Now this might not be your style, which is totally fine. For my aesthetic, I kind of like more of this peasanty kind of princess style. And it goes so well with a lot of my cute strappy dresses that I might want to add more height to the neckline and more sleeve. And if you are a girl, 
who does not like that peasanty look, another thing you could do is a top like this. This top is just a plain crop stretch knit top and it's closely matched to my skin tone. If you don't like that peasanty look, just look for a tee that is close to your skin tone. This tip is for us girls who are a little bigger up top I know a lot of you have probably experienced this. You have a button up top and it just starts to gap awkwardly around the chest area and it just doesn't look as good. Or maybe you aren't even busty at all and you're running into this issue because you have a button up. The spacing between the buttons is too long that it creates a gapping or if you turn to the side, you're gonna see like a little peekaboo show going on, which none of us really want to be showing off. So yes, you could wear something under that, but you don't have to and let me tell Tell you how. What I like to do in this situation is either get a snap or one of those little hook in eyes. And what I do is I sew this in between that where that gap would happen between those two buttons. And by doing this, it prevents any sort of pulling that would have happened. Where now it's not pulling or gapping between there anymore and it looks so much better. Have you guys ever had a dress? And this one, for example, this dress is interesting in this. It's a wider square neck. And so sometimes the bra strap can kind of sneak over a little bit and get exposed. Or let's say you even have a dress where it's a wide strap dress and it's modest enough, like where it's not showing any side just. You have a dress that's got a wide enough strap, but the problem is you always have like that sneaky bra strap trying to escape and it just looks so tacky when it pops out and it's not something you want to show. What I suggest and what I have done in some of my clothes is I've gotten a little string and I've taken that little string and I've attached it to either side of these buttons. And then once you've attached it to the button, I like to put a, like a little super glue to make sure it really stays there, like the knot's really good and secure. And then I'm going to sew one button on the inside where I want the strap to sit. And then I'm going to leave the other one hanging so that way when it's time to get dressed I'm just going to take the dress put it over top my bra and then I'm going to loop it around that bra strap and then clip the clips together and this is going to ensure that that strap is staying stuck to the, the garment itself. This is a very simple thing to do with very basic sewing skills that it can really make a garment more flawless and less worrisome when you're out and about. So we've talked about wearing camisoles under our clothes. We've talked about wearing crop tops. The next thing you can do is if you have a dress that's a little bit on the lower side and you kind of want to bring it up a little bit, especially if you do not want sleeves peeking out or that extra bulk on the shoulder, what you can do is get yourself a fake collar. On most of the reviews I've read, this tends to fit better for a smaller audience. And you could technically make these fake collars in a bigger size by just going to your local thrift store and cutting yourself one out and putting some elastic on either side. This is the one I've purchased from Amazon. This is a really cool little piece. It just mimics a button up you would put underneath another top to give it a higher neckline without the added bolt. You can get these in very different styles. You can get them with the little, like a straight collar. You have the pointed collar. You can buy Peter Pan collar. You can buy collars with little gems and embroidery. This next one, I I really, really, really like because more options have come out. And this is for when you have a dress that is short, not super short, but kind of on the shorter side, shorter than you would like it to be. And you just need a few more inches. Then the trick to fix that would be a lengthening skirt. You can get all sorts of these skirts now off of Amazon. There's this one that's got these pretty little lace eyelets on them. And I love this particular skirt. I was going to just buy it and show it to you all and send it back, but I ended up loving it so much that I am battling not sending it back. There's so many styles available now for lengthening skirts that I didn't have available to me when I was younger. So jealous I had to make mine when I was younger, so boo-hoo for me. Also, another really cool thing I did not purchase for this video, but I noticed while shopping, you can even get these cute pantaloons. Now, some of you are gonna love this and some of you are gonna hate this, but I think this is actually not a terrible idea. Like if you have a, a cute dress, but you're going to be out more active and you don't wanna wear jeans, you just wanna be kind of still cutesy, it's still like the same concept, that lengthening skirt, but they're actually pantaloons or pants. I make them sound very unappealing by calling them pantaloons, I'm sorry. They have pretty good reviews and especially since they're 100% cotton, they're pretty breezy and they could still give that underskirt feeling and look, but you've got some coverage in between. So if the wind blows, 
nothing's gonna show. I might actually have to get myself a pair of these and see how I can style them because they're kind of cute. Did I miss anything? Any tips that I could have put in there that I completely left out or some that are secretly lurking up in your head that you haven't shared with everyone else? Well, feel free to share it down below. If this video was helpful for you, consider giving me a thumbs up or a like or a comment or one of those things. If you hated it, why did you watch it this far? Life is too short to hate watch, I'm just gonna say. If you want more content from me, you can follow me on Instagram. Anna Waspilia Official. Make sure it has official because if it's not official, it's hacked. It's probably somebody from another country. I don't even know where, but they were clever and they hacked my account. So totally ignore that one. Have a good day. I'm rooting for you.